to your eyes, I see we're out of time. Hi, so I have a little experiment I'm gonna do and I'm super excited because I'm gonna be planting a lot of flowers and herbs in this and I'll show you the idea I have and we're gonna follow up and see how it works. This is my green pockets, the one that go on the wall and I think I've shown it to you before so I'm gonna get them all looking beautiful. I'll show you everything that I have in here and see how it goes. lot of plans to get going on i have bought a bunch of purple basil at home depot because the other purple basil i grew is nice but it doesn't grow as strong as this one i think i'm gonna switch to one i grow every year and i bought some sage and these are creeping zinnias they call it uh, but they're really tiny yellow flowers some petunias these are so pretty and I bought this finca and then I bought a bunch of herbs. This is like a lemon frost thyme. How pretty is that? And this one, I couldn't believe it. This is so lavender scented thyme. It smells so good. I never heard of this before. Yesterday smelled more than today today doesn't smell as much and then i got some oregano some more oregano for the pockets and i have this petunia i'm growing in a few spots and i thought it's so pretty it has this little tiny pink flowers calibrachua calibrachua that's the name of it. <laughs> and then i bought a bunch of colias because i think they last year they look so pretty and I love this one. Isn't that pretty? But I like the pinks on that too. So I think with the purple pinks, some variegated Icterina Sage. It's a salvia. And I bought this one which has little white um, areas on it. It's so pretty with a purple. And this is one plant here. And this is Sage Tricolor. But like in the in this basil they there's like four plants in here so i love buying these that bring multiple because i think this were like 3.99 or something like that but i get multiples this is there's five in here and there's oh my gosh there's one two three four five six seven plants in here so i get the ones that look healthy but that give me extra plants so i did get more cilantro because i planted a bunch of cilantro but the weather has been so funky that everything is a little like traumatized and confused in my garden but i'm gonna get going if you want to watch i'll show you the pockets i love to grow but i they do dry up quickly because it's a fabric but i love using them they look so pretty so I think I found the best way to end up keeping the moisture in and not having to water them daily. So we'll see if that works, but this is a good experiment and we'll see how everything does this year. Mm -hmm. 
I like the ones that are flat on the bottom, even though this goes to a point, but I feel like it's going to hold the soil better. S soil. So that they don't close up as you're filling them up. And then you place them in. Open them. And they go pretty, you know, they don't go all the way. They go pretty to the half of this. So it's still going to evaporate the water. It's just to conserve a little of the water so it has moisture. And then you fill it up. And I think she had a good idea. I think it's a lot easier. So all these are completed. And one thing, my husband put a piece of wire on here because the winds have been so crazy. Like this one goes through all three of them because I was finding this on the other side of the patio. They were blowing away. The first ones I'm gonna do are these petunias. Uh, they don't have the name, but I thought it would be pretty to place them on the bottom because that way they start spilling down and I don't want to cover what's here. So I think I'm going to do a whole row and these are small, which is perfect for this type of container. I'm going to get rid of all these ones that are spent already. And go ahead and start planting. do this basil now so pretty against the green I love pur purple basil they are just so pretty they're not good to dry but if you just like to eat your herb fresh they're amazing this one this container brings so many I'm gonna put one I think here on the top. No, maybe here. Let me show you because I don't know if you can see. I'm going to put it right here. These look so pretty against the purple. I think that I got these because I thought, look how much it stands out and against the green background. I love the color green bags instead of the black ones. It adds a lot to a plain fence. So I think I'm gonna do these, but I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of the soil. These are creeping seniors. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. Gardening is so satisfying. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't want to do on the same line, so I'm going to do it down here. Let me get you down so you can see it. So I think I'm going to do it below because if I do it here, it will be in line. I don't want that, so I'm going to do it right here. If you're new here, I am Melba and I love to grow as much as I can in this tiny urban garden. And if you are back and subscribe to the channel, I wanna thank you so much for supporting this cozy garden community. So I think I'm gonna put it on the top so it grows tall, but I'm gonna pinch the top. I love to hear why you garden because some people garden for because they need, want to grow food and be, not be dependent on supermarkets. Some people like to experiment. Some people like it because of mental health. I'm a combination of both because of mental health and one day I'll go into the story if you want to hear it. Oh, why I started gardening. 
but I do it because of mental health and because I just love experimenting. So if things fail, I'm okay with it. Just trying something new. I just love to see what happens. I have the lemon and the lavender thyme. I was hoping to be, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'll take a lot, but. I still have a lot of things that I'm projects I'm working on for the chicken coop the potting bench my husband's building me I had to draw a sketch for him I just have a bunch of little projects to do sage and this is one plant it's pretty big so I'm gonna get rid of all the soil look how root bound that is this is pretty large we'll see how it it does in here because that's pretty big to plant in here. I try to get some that are much smaller root system. Splicer. Oh, that does look really beautiful. Oregano thyme. They're so hardy. They'll grow everywhere if you let them. That's still pretty big, but we'll see how it does. Okay. Hey. it doesn't like being dry at all so i am going to replace it with more of these i got this light pink color that i think is going to be really pretty so let me go get it but i do want to say all the other ones with that little bag they are doing amazing so it still is a really good idea the bag they're pretty vincas they're great they do so good but i think i'm gonna do the white and this pink one this light pink is so pretty with dark pink center i think that those are gonna give a lot of color i really want a lot of color on this because i have a lot of vegetables in this area so i really want a lot of flowers here so let's go plant these so far i have only one empty that died and that is one of the purple basil ones but everything else is doing pretty good right now I just bought a, a time to put in here and that will be enough but everything else is doing great even we have about 96 degree weather and it was in the 91 92 all the way to 96 and it is still doing really good with those bags so I definitely recommend if you want things to survive quite a long time and it's hot out. Yeah. 